Welcome to the inaugural meeting of the Dean's Advisory Council. Let's begin by first telling you a little bit about the University of Houston Victoria. We are proud to be a part of the University of Houston system and we have come a long way since opening our doors in 1973. Throughout this video you will see evidence of the transformation that has taken place in UHV's School of Business Administration. While our roots are in Victoria, we have increased our presence in the greater Houston area by branching out into the Fort Bend County and Katy areas. We now offer the majority of our face-to-face -face classes in Sugarland and Katy. Over the years, the School of Business Administration has evolved into a top-ranked business school. In 2004, it received AACSB accreditation, the highest standard of achievement for business schools worldwide. This accreditation was renewed in 2009. Along the way, the School of Business Administration has achieved national recognition and accolades. The Princeton Review, for example, has consistently named UHV as one of the top business schools in the U.S. and the number two greatest opportunity for minority students. The Fortune Small Business Magazine has also named the School of Business Administration as the number three best online entrepreneurial school. In addition, GetEducated.com has ranked the School of Business Administration as number four for their global MBA, number 17 for their strategic MBA, number six for their BBA, and also overall as an AACSB accredited distance Best Buy. Over the past decade, the School of Business Administration has shown tremendous growth. We now have 45 faculty members, 40 of which have their offices at the UH Sugarland campus. We now have the largest MBA program in the Houston area. Since 2005, the MBA program has grown from 676 students to approximately 900 today. Our MBA program brings students together from all over the world, and here, working with a diverse faculty, they're able to hone their business skills in accounting, finance, marketing, management, economics, and strategy. This allows UH Victoria to produce some of the best MBA students available. Hi, I'm Nicole Conda. I graduated from UHV with an MBA in entrepreneurship in December 2011. I now own my own business. I'm an independent proposals consultant. I work with oil and gas companies, engineering contractors, I decided to get my MBA in the summer of 2009 because I wanted to advance my career and my company was sponsoring some classes so UHV was perfect for me because it was flexible and affordable. I received my MBA with a concentration entrepreneurship so everything I do in my business I learned in my MBA program. Hello, my name is Benny Nguyen. I graduated from the University of Houston Victoria MBA program in 2012 with a strategic MBA uh, in general business. Since graduation, I was promoted uh, from an assistant project manager to a project manager as my current company. In addition to our MBA programs, we also have the Master of Science in Economic Development and Entrepreneurship a unique one-of-a-kind program that combines traditional economic development and entrepreneurship. As one of our board members can attest, this program is ideal for aspiring entrepreneurs as well as those involved in traditional economic development. My name is Dr. David Summers and I have the privilege of being one of the original designers of the Master of Science in Economic Development and Entrepreneurship program. One of the unique features of the program is the capstone project. Every student works one-on-one -on -one with professors and outside evaluators to complete a project that is economic development, entrepreneurship, or both related. Over the past few years, we've had projects where students started businesses, where they help communities develop strategic economic development plans, where they have started uh, organizations that are nonprofit, that are community development oriented, or even curricula for high schools about how to become entrepreneurs. And each of the projects is designed to be a benefit not only to the student but make a difference in their community. We also have a very large undergraduate student body. In fact, we have grown from a little over 500 students in 2009 to 1,100 today. We currently offer undergraduate degrees in accounting, finance, marketing, management, healthcare administration, supply chain management, and general business. 
Due to our increased enrollment, we graduated record numbers in our MBA and MSEDE programs last year, a total of 244 for the 2012 and 2013 school year. We also graduated 314 BBA students. Our students and alumni work at many of the major firms in Houston. Using the knowledge and skills they have gained in their MBA or MSEDE programs, they have quickly advanced in their careers and are now making significant contribution in their fields. Earning my MBA from University of Houston Victoria School of Business has really helped me advance my career. I know that because when I was hired on as Associate Director um, of IT, of IT Infrastructure at Citus, which is a global commercial real estate company, I asked my boss at that time, this is about three years ago, what was the differentiator? He actually told me, I was so happy to hear this, you have an MBA, the other guy didn't. i have gone from that position all the way up to now Chief Operating Officer and Executive Vice President of WalkerCom uh, Telecommunication Company in Pearland, Texas. I'm very excited about that. This is my second week. No way I could have done that without that MBA. The growth in student enrollment in the School of Business Administration has demanded the hiring of additional faculty. In 2001, we started with only 11 faculty, and our faculty rank has grown from 25 to 45 since 2009 as we continue to recruit diverse, highly qualified, and motivated faculty from around the globe. It's a pleasure to introduce myself. My name is Alex Adolf, and I'm a brand new faculty member here at UHV Business School. In my first semester, I'm teaching graduate level courses in financial management and derivative securities. One of the main draws to UHV Business School was the fact that the school is AACSB accredited. And I believe this is important not only for the faculty members, but for the students as well. It's important for all of us to realize that this is a very rigorous academic program. Uh, during my interview process, I was told that the student body is very diverse as well. And to me, this is important because not only am I able to teach my students the principles of finance, but they're able to teach me about their diverse backgrounds as well. Houston is home to a large number of firms that conduct a large portion of their business internationally. As such, it is important to employ a highly talented and diverse workforce that can help the business thrive in a global environment. This is one of the biggest reasons to support UHV School of Business Administration. We have a highly diverse student body with students who originate from all parts of the world, including the Far East, Middle East, Latin and South America, Africa, and Europe. The University of Houston Victoria has fast development since 2000. Now we have a very diverse faculty background as well as the student's body. Our faculty members have taught at all different institutions, including large private schools as well as the traditional large public schools. The reason attract us here is not just the Houston, but also the great experience dealing with our students here. Our faculty members came from, originally came from different nations, such as China, Turkey, Iran, and all the other different nations. Uh, because of this great international background, we also offer those study abroad program, such as study abroad to Taiwan and study abroad to mainland China. And students speak highly of this great learning experience. Our students had a great ex working experience as well as international experience. Because of all those diversity, we had a really great learning experience and interaction of the MBA students in our program class discussion as well as the MBA conference. At UHV, we provide value to employers by providing these individuals with the knowledge and skills needed to compete in a global marketplace. Most of our students are working full-time. We help to transform these individuals into key employees, managers, leaders, and decision makers. They, in turn, help make their companies more successful. A key element of our MBA program is our case conference and competition. This conference is a culmination of knowledge received throughout the program. Students spend all semester devising a strategic plan for a company, such as Apple or Walmart, and they make their presentation to a panel of judges, made up of faculty members and also previous conference winners. At the end of our MBA program, the candidates for graduation with the MBA are brought together in a case conference where student teams have the opportunity to present their recommendations for improving a publicly traded firm. This highly competitive event 
allows the students to showcase their skills and to make presentations to faculty and alumni and answer questions about their implementation strategies. Our MBA graduates report that the MBA conference is one of the highlights of their MBA training career because it is in the conference that they feel that they're really able to demonstrate the extent to which they're prepared to become leaders in the modern business environment. Winning the University of Houston uh, Victoria MBA case competition was a very unique experience and one that I'm going to cherish really the rest of my life. We actually brought in executives, board members from other corporations. We brought in a couple members from the Houston Chronicle. There was a TV anchor that we brought in and we did two mock case competition presentations in front of those people with the actual rubric off of the website and handed it to them and had them grade us and judge us. So when we actually came to that day of the competition, we were prepared, we were ready to go, and it really was no sweat. At each MBA conference, there is also an invited keynote speaker. Notable speakers from previous MBA conferences include Farooq Shami of Farooq Systems, Ravi Kathoria, President of the Cohegic Corporation, Mike Willis of the Willis Group, and Richard Tyler, CEO of Richard Tyler International. The winning teams are announced following the keynote speaker at a luncheon. We now use the same case conference and competition format for our BBA program. Stephen Kaufman was our first keynote speaker at the BBA conference in fall of 2012. The School of Business Administration also hosts a Distinguished Lecture Series. This speaker series is notable for the high-profile speakers invited to share their experiences with a large group of current students, alumni, and faculty. Hi, my name is Dr. Stephanie Swanski, and I'm the Chair of the Management and Marketing Department. We have a dynamic culture in our School of Business, and it's largely due to our external partnerships. We partner with the Willis Group to offer a Distinguished Lecture Series. As part of this series, our students and faculty are immersed in the business community through their exposure to top executives from various fields. Our students are able to not only be exposed to these high-caliber speakers, but also to engage in an experience and not just an education as part of our program. In order to reward excellence in both teaching and research, each year the School of Business Administration partners with Bloomberg Business Week to recognize two faculty for outstanding teaching and one faculty member for scholarly activity. To be nominated for the teaching award, faculty must demonstrate effective use of articles and other content published by Bloomberg in its weekly business magazine. We also partner with Bloomberg Business Week. As a result of this partnership, our faculty are awarded on an annual basis in regard to teaching and research. So not only are faculty and students benefiting from, from this partnership, but also business schools around the country, as Bloomberg Business Week relies on us as a model for how to best integrate current business events and issues into our coursework. I hope that we continue to maintain these relationships and further build on them and also create new partnerships so that we can continue to extend our reach and our commitment to develop professional business students. The School of Business Administration is pleased to announce the newly established Wu Center for International Business Education. Thanks to a $600,000 contribution from a prominent Chinese businessman, Chairman Wu from the Manufacturing Group in China and his wife, University of Houston Victoria business students will have the opportunity to study international business in China. Mr. Wu is the board chairman of the Shanzhou Group, which is involved in the healthcare, medicine, medical devices, hospital, and ecological cosmetics industries. The center will be home to a global leadership lecture series and an executive and residence program. It also will provide scholarships to students who would like to study abroad in China. This past year, the School of Business Administration added its first ever endowed professorship, named in the honor of the late Ron Sardesai, a longtime faculty member who passed away in the spring of 2011. Dr. Masood Medigalchi, a professor of finance, was awarded with this honor. In order to attract and retain more top faculty, we hope to add more endowed professorships over the next few years. In order to further encourage and support high-quality research, the School of Business Administration leadership team established the annual Partnership Professor Award. This award provides each faculty member with a modest stipend, which they can spend to travel to academic conferences, to cover research expenses, or to purchase databases or software. 
In the past two years, ten faculty members have been recognized for their accomplishments, and another three have already been announced as 2014 recipients. Another important development is the establishment of the MBA Student and Alumni Association. Led by Chris Pemberton, a 2008 graduate and recently named Chief Operating Officer and Executive Vice President of WalkerCom in Pearland, this group is committed to supporting the School of Business Administration by capitalizing upon alumni connections among business community. One of the key initiatives in the School of Business Administration is developing new programs to better serve current needs of various Houston area firms. As such, new concentrations are being developed in energy management, healthcare, human resource management, and supply chain management. With these new program developments, it is important that we engage industry experts in curriculum development, and we need your help in this endeavor. Houston is projected to grow by over a million in the next decade, and each year over 100,000 people are moving into the west side of the metro area. As firms grow, highly skilled and well-trained managers will be in high demand. Higher education must be able to adapt and innovate, take advantage of emerging technologies, and be prepared to meet the needs of employers. The Dean's Advisory Council can play a key role in ensuring that we can do just that. This is a very important role, one that will benefit not only your own firm, but all Houston area firms.